This is the independent practice for 4.3. Hopefully you've had a chance to do it. Let's see how you did. Um, we're going to be multiplying fractions. Here I can see can't simplify any of these. So 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15. I get 2 fifteenths. Okay. Next one. Can't simplify anything. So 3 times 5 is 15. And 4 times 8 is 32. All right, number 3. 2 thirds times, I'm going to make that 4 into a fraction, 4 over 1. I can't simplify anything, so I have 8 over 3. Now, I see that I have a improper fraction. How many times does 3 go into 8? It goes in there 2 times, that's 6. And it leaves me with 2 left over. So my answer is 2 and 2 thirds. Let's look at 4. 5, 6 times 15. I want to go 5, 6 times 15 over 1. Uh, I can't simplify anything, so now i got to go 15 times 5. I'm going to do that over here. 15 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 75. Okay, so I get 75. Oh, that's supposed to be a 5. Let's try that again. 75 over 6 times 1 is 6. Now, I want to see, I'm going to do 75 divided by 6. 6 goes to 7 one time, so that's like that. Then I subtract it, I get 1. Bring down my 5, 15. How many times does 6 go into 15? 2 times, that's 12. Leaves me with a 3. Now the 3 is going to go here. And the 6 is going to go there. So I have 12 and 3 6. But that 3 6, I know I can simplify that to 1 half. So this is going to equal 12 and 1 half. There's my answer. Okay? 2 thirds times 1 fourth. This 2, I can divide this 2 and this 4 by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. So this gets me 1, and this gets me 2. Okay. Now, 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 2 is 6. My answer is 1 sixth. Look at this one. Ooh, I can simplify both ways. Divide this by 4. Divide this by 4. I do the same to the top and the bottom. So that's 1, and this is 2. Okay. 3 and 9, divide each by 3. Divide each by 3, do the same to the top and the bottom. That gets me 1, and this gets me 3. 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 2 is 6, 1 sixth is my answer. All right, let's go, we'll do 7, 8, and 9. 7. Uh, Juanita spent three-fourths of her allowance at the mall. Of the money she spent at the mall, one-half was spent on ear, new earphones. What part of her allowance did Juanita spend on earphones? So, three-fourths of her allowance was spent at the mall. Now, one-half of that, of, so it's times one-half, and I'll see what percent, or what, whoopsie, what fraction was spent on earphones. Three times one is three. Four times two is eight. Three eighths, that can't be simplified. So three eighths of her allowance was spent on the earphones. Let's go to number eight. A paint store has 35 gallons of paint in sh shortage. 35 gallons of paint in storage. Two fifths of which are for outdoor use. The others are for indoor use. Each gallon costs $22.00. What is the total cost of the indoor paint for storage, in storage? So, um, okay, let's figure this one out. So a paint store has 35 gallons of paint in storage. So here's my little storage, 35 gallons. Two-fifths of that are for outdoor use. The others are for indoor use. Each gallon costs $22. What's the total cost of the indoor paint in storage? Okay, so if two-fifths oh, two 
is the outdoor. And if outdoor and indoor equals 1, so I know that the indoor is 3 fifths. Okay? So, and 3 fifths of the 35 gallons is going to be indoor paint. 2 fifths is going to be the outdoor. So I'm going to go 3 fifths times 35, and that'll give me how many gallons I have that are indoor. Indoor, okay? So 3 times 35, if you need to come to the side, you can do that. That's fine. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So you get 105, and 5 times 1 is 5. Now I'm going to see how many times 5 goes into that. 5 goes into 10 two times. That's 0. Bring down my 5. It goes into there 1. That's 5. And that is 0. So it's 21. So 21 gallons are indoor. Now, 21 indoor. Each one costs $22. So it's just 21 times 22. That'll get me my total cost. Got 22 times 21. That's 2, that's 2, add my 0, that's 4, and that's 4, that becomes 2, 6, 4, $462 is my answer for the indoor paint, okay, a little tricky. What I could have done is I could have also found 2 fifths of 35, which would give me how much I have outdoor, and then I take 35 total gallons minus the outdoor, would have given me the indoor. I decided to find the fraction, though. Okay? Let's go on to number nine. This will be our last one, and then you'll have a chance to uh, do some extra practice. Homeroom 101 and Homeroom 102 share a hallway bulletin board. If Homeroom 101 uses three-fifths of their display to display artwork, what fraction of the bulletin board is used to display Homeroom's 101? artwork. Okay. What? Here, let's read this again. Homeroom 101. So we have one room here. We have one room here. So I got 101. I have 102. Those are my two homerooms. They share a bulletin board. Here's my bulletin board. Homeroom 101 is going to use three-fifths of the board to display artwork. What fraction of the bulletin board is used to display Homeroom 101's artwork. Okay. Three fifths. Now they share it like this. So they each get half. So it's three fifths times the one half that they get. And when I do that, it's three tenths. So three tenths. Um, is how much they get. It's kind of like um, here is one half, here is one half, and then I break this into five parts. One, two, three. There's my five parts. Three of those five parts, one, two, three, three of those five parts are used for art. So of the total, one half times three fifths is one, two, three over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 3 tenths of the total bo bulletin board is used for Room 101's art. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Um, go ahead and, uh, if you did good, fill out the uh, Google form. Go ahead and go on to the extra practice.